Hello, War Correspondent here, and I'm coming at you live today from inside a U-boat submerged just outside Liverpool's harbour. The captain is getting ready to fire some torpedoes at a stationary merchant anchored at the docks just in front of us. We'll be using this poor bastard to study the differences between the vanilla target locking system and the TDC mod. So without further ado, let's get right in. Okay, so this video is actually being made for a user on the Steam forums who is wondering if it's possible to manually change the torpedo's gyro before firing. The answer is yes, but not with the vanilla system. I'll show you why. We're going to go into our periscope view here. In front of us, like our dear war correspondent said, we're looking at a merchant. A stationary merchant at the docks. We don't need to identify him, because he's stationary. Just going to put in the speed. Zero knots. Course, 90. Distance, 1900 meters. Now we're locked onto him as you can see at the top of our screen here. But I'm not going to point the periscope at him. I'm going to point it about 10, 20, 30 degrees to the left. Uncheck that box. We're going to fire one torpedo 30 degrees to the left. Off it goes. And the next one, about 30 degrees to the right. When we go to the map to take a look, well, would you look at that? Both torpedoes are actually racing towards the target that we have a lock on. What does that tell us? That tells us, no matter where we point the periscope, the torpedoes will always target exactly where this lock icon is pointing. The center of the ship. If I were to put in five knots, and the torpedo would try to intercept the target five knots ahead of this exact point. And there it goes. The torpedo is now racing for where this target would be, or where the center of that target would be, if it were going five knots. All right. So here we are again, same exact scenario, same poor bastard merchant anchored at the docks over there, but this time we have the TDC mod enabled. So let's try the exact same thing as before. Except this time we're going to use the TDC. I can't actually bring up the torpedo panel unless I enter in some garbage first, which is something the devs need to fix. Switching this over to the TDC. There we go. We're going to put one torpedo over here. Rohr 1, bewässern. Rohr 2, fertig. Rohr 2, bewässern. Rohr 1, bewässert. Los! And we'll put another torpedo over here. And we'll take a look at the map. And would you look at that? Despite being locked onto the target, just as we were before, the torpedoes are actually going where we pointed the periscope. And there's actually one more neat thing to show you about the TDC regarding manual torpedo gyros. Now, as you can see here, as I turn my periscope, several needles on the TDC move as well to follow my movements. What are they? Well, this gauge in the upper left is the parallax indicator. It tells you how many degrees of parallax are being applied to the torpedo. What is parallax? Take a look at these two brief images. I don't want to get too involved into it. I have other videos discussing that. But parallax 
in simplest terms, is the turn the torpedo needs to make in order to converge on the object that the periscope is aiming at. If the U-boat is pointed in the same direction that the torpedo's path needs to take to reach the target, there is very little parallax. But if the U-boat is pointed a beam of the target, as shown in the second image, the torpedo needs to make a long turn and converge downwards in order to intercept the target that the periscope is aiming at. That's parallax. So, to increase the accuracy of your torpedo solutions, make sure that your parallax is underneath 10 degrees, if possible. These gauges right here, labeled torpedo curse, or course, tells you exactly, in relative bearings, where the torpedo will go when it leaves the tube. Zero degrees is the nose of the U-boat. 180 is the tail of the U-boat. Now let's talk about this gauge. This gauge simply tells us where the periscope and where the torpedo data computer are pointed. Yes, those are two very different things. These little red brackets are where the periscope is pointing. The larger needles are where the TDC is pointing. Normally, these are both one and the same because the TDC is slaved to the movements of our periscope. But if I pull this lever right here and this blue light comes on, suddenly the periscope can now move independently of the TDC. Why would you want to do that? There are a few scenarios I'll cover in other videos, but the point is you can disconnect the periscope from the TDC. And using this knob up here, you can manually adjust where the TDC is aiming. Let's go to the map. I want to put one torpedo 90 degrees to port. And I'm going to put another torpedo 90 degrees to starboard. Nose. Just because I can. And there they go. There you have it. Manual gyro aiming with the TDC mod. Not possible with vanilla, is possible with the TDC.